I am Anil Kumar and now we will find slope of tangent on a semicircle. The question here is determine the slope of the tangent to the curve y equals to square root of 25 minus x square at 3, 4. Now this equation represents a semicircle whose uh, radius is 5 units. Correct? So that is how we can look into this function. So you can actually graph this and then understand what we are trying to do. So basically we have a semicircle here whose radius is 5 units, right? So that is that is a circle and we want to find a slope of the tangent at a point 3, 4 which will be around here. So let me just draw a line here. It didn't touch but it should, right? <laughs> so, so that point should be touching it and this point is 3, 4 for us. So we want slope of this tangent line. We also have a video where we could actually find slope of the tangent line by finding slope of this radius and then negative reciprocal since it is perpendicular. That's a very easy way of finding the slope, right? Now here we are going to utilize the, that the, the slope definition basically. Definition of the slope is change in y over change in x where change in x is limiting to 0. So we say where change in x is limiting to 0. So that is the condition which we are going to utilize. So we will consider a point which is very very close to the given point. Let us say just h units away and so we can write this as limit where h approaches 0 since the other point is at 3 plus h and then the slope will be given as f of in this particular case since we are looking into the x value of 3 so we'll take a point which is 3 plus h away minus f of 3 divided by 3 plus h minus 3 right so that is the equation to find the slope so now let us find well i could also you know reduce it a bit so we can write this as limit h approaches 0 f of 3 plus h minus f of 3 f of 3 you know is 4 right over h okay now let's find f3 of h so I, we know that f of 3 let me write down f of 3 is given to us as 4 you can also substitute and verify but f of 3 plus h is something which we have to uh, find out so that would be square root of 25 minus 3 plus h whole square correct so we can just expand and simplify this one so we get 25 minus so that gives us 9, 3 square, plus 2ab, which is 2 times 3 times h plus h square, right? Now you can open this bracket. So 25 minus 9 gives you 16. And 2 times 3 is, with this negative, all of them will become negative, right? So we'll write this as 6h and minus h square. So that is f of 3 plus h, correct? So this is f of 3 plus h. Now we can substitute uh, this value in our equation. f of 3 is known to us as uh, 4, right? So we'll do it on this side. So now we can write slope m equals to limit h approaches 0. And f of 3 plus h is square root of 16 minus 6h minus h square minus f of 3, f of 3 is 4, this value, minus 4, divided by h. Now to solve this equation, we need to rationalize it, right? So we'll multiply and divide by the conjugate of the numerator. So in this case, we'll rationalize using uh, the conjugate of the numerator minus 4 so we'll multiply and divide by let me write over h here okay 16 minus 6h minus h square plus 4 correct that is how that is what the conjugate will be 16 minus 6h plus i mean minus h square plus 4 right so once you multiply with this conjugate we get difference of squares here so limit h approaches 0 and the numerator becomes this square minus that square, which is 16 minus 6h 
minus h square minus 16 right and the denominator we have product of these two things so we have h times square root of 16 minus 6h minus h square plus 4. Now 16 minus 16 is, is 0 so what we get here is limit h approaches 0 and we are left with minus 6h minus h square so we can take minus h common okay minus h common so we are left with 6 plus h in the numerator and the denominator is h times square root of 16 minus 6 h minus h square plus 4. Right? Now h and h can be cancelled and we can now substitute h equals to 0. Once we do that what do we get? Once we do get we get minus 6 in the numerator divided by now here these two terms will be 0. Square root of 16 is 4, right? So we get 4 plus 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8, right? And that could be simplified, dividing both by 2. You get minus 3 over 4 as our answer. So therefore, the slope of the tangent on this curve at 3, 4 is minus 3 over 4, correct? So that is the slope. So our answer is slope at 3 comma 4 is minus 3 over 4 right so that is how it is you can also verify that if I see the slope of this point from origin rise is 4 and run is 3 right so it is a uh, slope of uh, radius is 4 over 3 and negative reciprocal is 3 over 4 so that verifies that your answer is correct I hope that helps thank you and all the best